Hey guys, Daniel here from the Gig Rig, and today we're building Ed O'Brien from Radiohead's Pedalboard. Oh my god, this is heaven, heaven on the board. More from Ed later, but for now, let's get started. Okay, so this is the layout that Ed wants. Okay, we've got the whammy pedal, the wah, and the multimedia controller for the whammy, all on the bottom row here, next to the Oz and the G2. So everything that he needs to get his feet at, right there. We've got the tap tempos here. So this is raised up a little bit, you can see, so it's really easy to get your foot there for the tap tempos, and also for the hold functions for the timeline, uh, which I know Ed really likes. Everything else is sort of laid out, so it's still really easy to get out. Now the reason that we've gone for this board and not a, um, a twin tier board is that Ed, when he plays, a large part of his sound is actually tweaking the knobs of all the pedals. So he can't have anything um, that is not ridiculously easy to get at. So he wants everything laid out flat. So this is why we've gone for a pedal train grande. Yeah. So right. I'm going to work from the front back. Before I get stuck into that, I'm going to attach the generator to the Pedal Train Grande using the Pedal Train Pro brackets. So, the bracket goes there, and the bracket goes on the other side. Now the generator slips between the other side of the brackets, like this. Just position the brackets in the center. There we go, the cable ties just go in there. Okay, so the generator is now attached and we're at a point there just next to the pedal train where we just plug the IC cable in and then everything is powered. Okay, so you can see the Cinco Cinco here. Now the Cinco Cinco is set just behind the edge of the pedal train so that when the pedal train goes in the case, it'll go flat against there and it won't touch um, the edge of the connectors here. So to keep that really, you know, nothing's going to knock that. Um, it's held on with pedal board tape so that is solid as a rock. The generator is connected to two distributors. I've done the power path diagram here, so I can see exactly what I need to get everything connected. But I've also done a signal path diagram there, so uh, I know exactly what loops things need to go in. Right, so I'm gonna connect the power to the pedals on the bottom rail, then I'm gonna connect the audio to the pedals on the bottom rail, and then I'm gonna move from the front to the back. So first things first, I'll get the adapters and get the power all hooked up for the pedals on the bottom rail. So for those of you that have not used our power supply system before, it comes with um, cables, the distributors and isolators come with the cables. All I've done is I've plugged the DC cable in to the, uh, the Clyde Deluxe wire, great wire pedal. I just measure it, I cut it to length, separate the ends, just like this. Now, what I'm going to do cable with the white stripe goes underneath the white tab and the black cable goes underneath the black tab. So I'll push these in. They should go in about a centimeter. Once they're in, all I do is I push the tabs down and that's it. That cable is now locked in. Nothing is going to pull that out. So there's no soldering, there's no stripping wires or anything. You just cut them to length and pop them in the tabs and push the tabs down and that's it. Right, the most important aspect of any build like this is test, test, test. Okay, so we test every step of the way. So these first uh, few things on the bottom rail are all powered up, so I'm just gonna plug the IEC cable in. Okay, we've got power to the wire pedal. We've got power to the Oz controller, and of course we have power to G2. Cool. We're using the Evidence Audio SIS solderless plug system. So, let me show you how this is done. First of all, we get the uh, Evidence Audio monorail cable, solid core cable. It's my favorite ever patch cable. The stripper that comes with it, put it in the first gap, take off about just under a centimeter off the end. Okay, you get this. Now, I don't know why I always do things differently than everyone else, but this is what I found works really well for me. I pull it all down to one side, I twist it, and then I layer it around like that. There we go, see that? Okay, now I'm going to remove all of the black stuff. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off about so much, just twist that, and then off it goes. We're left with this. 
So here's the plug. When we push this on here, we push it in, and then we screw it on. As soon as you get to that point where you can't pull it off, you know that that copper core is threaded directly into the tip. Right, what I'm going to do is bend it over. I take the cap, I put the cap around the outside like this, screw it on, and that's it. Da -da. Okay, so I'm starting to wire things in now, and I just wanted to show you this little tip when you're doing boards. Um, the, the, I've got the audio coming from G2, and I'm connecting it up to the Cinco Cinco and to the pedals. And you'll see I've also got the power here um, sort of hooked up already. And you see I'm doing with the audio cables. I'm running the audio cables perpendicular to the power um, cables so that they cross. Okay, and this means that the audio will be, um, you know, sort of in the least amount of contact with the power. Uh, just a good habit to get into, keeps everything really quiet and uh, yeah, really neat. Okay, so here's a groovy thing. I have this Humdinger. Uh, it's connected with the volume insert loop in G2. Uh, one thing Ed wanted to be able to do is to have his delays and things only going to one amplifier. So that is going to give me that option. So you see I have this remote loopy 2 also underneath the board. Now what that is for, if I pop the board back down, Okay, see here on the outputs here, on the side here. Now, this remote loopy 2 is in the loop with the flanger. So, what happens is, Ed can uh, simply, if he wants to try things out, he simply turns on that loop, turns off the flanger, and uses the remote switches here to turn on and off these two loops. So he can, you know, you can experiment. I mean, the thing with this board, this is so Ed can try things out in the studio, you know, make some sounds and sort of get inspired. So I didn't want him to be tied down to just what was on the pedal board. I wanted him to be able to experiment with a bunch of different things as well. So that just gives him a couple of really accessible loops that are still controlled by G2. So here it is. It is all done. And it sounds just wonderful. Oh, oh my god, this is heaven. Heaven on the board. Okay. <clears throat> if we have a look on the right hand side here, we've got the guitar input here. Yeah. But I have three outputs here. Yeah. Okay. Output one, mm -hmm. which is the main output. So if you're only using one amplifier, yeah. connect to output one, because that's yeah. your earth. Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. Output two. Um, which is of course output two, but I also have talking about the wet dry thing. Yeah. So I've done the third output as well nice. using the humming. So how that works is like this. Right, let's just go to a, just a clean preset. All right, so output one, I've got the, the mallet there. Output two, I've got my old box there. Okay, and output three, which is connected to the volume insert. Yeah. Yeah, so now on is the. J. Yeah. Right. So I've put the insert between loop seven and eight. So I've put the insert before the delays. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. what happens now? If I go to a preset with the got the compressor and the memory man on. If I take out the outside amplifiers. There's no delay yeah, yeah. on the center amplifier. Yeah. I'll put the outside amplifiers in. So it gives you the the attack is retained by that center amplifier. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Now you don't have to have the three amplifiers hooked up. You can just have one and two hooked yeah. up. Yeah. You know, I can have one, uh, the one and three there. So I can have the. Um, See the tremolo, yeah. or you know, the flanger. But again, it's just the, it's just the flanger is still going to the center one. Yeah. But the delay is going just nice. to the outside one. So I can have that's with the Marshall. I'll turn the Marshall off and have the Vox. Yeah. yeah. So you know, or I can go completely wet, have the center one turned off, and just the outside one turned off. So, but also, 
the, the volume insert is of course um, piped through the volume pedal so when you have your sound, still get the trails yeah Great. Yeah. That's so nice. How do you do that? So that's it. Well, that's it. Well, so uh, what's happened is the vo yeah. so the the volume insert, the sand yeah. from here yeah. goes into the volume pedal. Yeah. Out of the volume pedal into the humdinger. Yeah. Out of the humdinger back into the volume insert return. Yeah. But the the isolated output of the humdinger goes to the third output there, right? You're you're a clever man. <laughs> I have a go. I'm, I'm having a go. But so, totally for example, if I um, if I put the fuzz on, yeah. you really hear. It. Now, if I just take the center amplifier out, yeah. it's it's huge and everything, but yeah. it gets a bit mushy. Put yeah. the center amp, the center amp yeah. in. It's a huge it's difference. It's a massive it's a difference. Huge difference. So, but you you know, but you can put the flanger in there and it's, you'll still get the full effect from the flanger. Yeah. But the directness yeah. with, with, without the, the front end getting mushed up by the delay. It's so funny because after our conversation a couple of weeks ago, it was so weird because when we, when we were making the bends, that's exactly what I did. And I, you know, it was only because of you know, I had one of those Boss AB switches, and right. I remember like, okay, I've got to isolate, because the it was with the NFX 500, I thought the mm -hmm. FX 500 in the loop, it, it really, it, 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 it really the tone. Sure. Yeah, so, yeah. So, but then, when and so by necessity, I had it separate, and, and I came across, I had the wet and dry thing, and I loved it. Mm. And then, after our conversation and talking with Adam, and it was just like, yeah, we've, that, that is the way to do it again. Yeah. And I remember, there's something about that sound, as you definitely, said. Definitely, definitely. In one, you've got the compressor, yeah. Which is just so good, just so good without it. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. That's really great. Yeah. Uh, I've got the Klon in two. We've got the Fuzz in three. This is just. And that's just awesome. Yeah, it's great. So good, it's so good. Um, you've got the. The hot cake, yeah. Four. Um, yep, so five, we've got yep. the whammy. Got the trim. Beautiful. Beautiful. Flanger. Now, I've done something with this flanger loop as well. On the outside here, yeah. see I've got these two loops here? Yeah. And the flanger thing is this flanger and guest. Yes. <laughs> okay. I know what that is. So, what that means is, I've got a remote loopy two plugged underneath here, and that is plugged into these remote switches here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, if you want to try a couple of pedals out, yeah. so that you don't have to rip things off the board. Yeah. Right. All you got to do, just turn the flanger off. Yeah. Plug the pedals into this loop, and then you can control those loops here. So, if you want to A B. Yeah. Your an overdrive pedal. Yeah. You want to try something out. Yeah. Stick it in there, and you can, and then you can easily A B between, wow. you know, what's in there. You want to try things out. Just yeah. stick them in the guest yeah, loop. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That's you know, just so when brilliant. you're experimenting. Yeah, totally. You know, it just uh, it makes sense to do that. Right, and then we have the H9, which is. It's amazing, Daniel. Put, put the compressor yeah. in with that. It's the god pedal, it really is, isn't it? It's just it's, astonishing. It's, it's amazing. It's astonishing. You, I can't, I've, I've had that for like 15 years. It just, every time I try and take it off the board, you can't. And there are plenty of companies doing great, great, you know, doing great mm -hmm. stuff. But that one, you just, yeah. Yeah. It's like taking your soul away. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I cannot thank you no, enough. It's absolutely my pleasure. It's incredible. So you can experiment your heart's content, and you know that you're getting the absolute best 
out of the pedals. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. nothing in the path that doesn't have to be there. Yeah. You know, tonally, it's just going to be. It is epic. It just sounds absolutely. And huge. it's it's you know it's the it's the journey that I've been on the last five years with the with with, with the whole pedals and trying to find a, a system that does that and mm. does it elegantly and um, you know sonically obviously mm, and, of course yeah and it's just amazing and the, all those you know because you know how it is the, the, the frustrations that one has and the amount of time one wastes mm -hmm. taking cables out where's the buzz where's the hum power issues all of that mm -hmm. and it's just you know and it what you've done is you've you're you're allowing us to just be and be in the moment and and be inspired by the sound that's coming out and so much of the time as we all know when you're dealing with equipment you kind of you're fighting that a lot of the Absolutely. time and that gets in the way and it's it, and yep. this is just you know I'm gonna be in heaven here <laughs> awesome. really man it's amazing awesome. it's amazing and to be able to hear each pedal within its true context. It's all about inspiration. I mean, th this to me is like inspiration and that is the most exciting thing and it's that, it's that kind of gut, that intuitive thing that you have that mm. just, that you, it's like being, it's like Christmas, <laughs> again. Awesome. And the, the, the last you. thing as well yeah. is um, one power cable. Yeah. Plug it in, everything. And that of course will work in any country in the world. You just plug the cable in. Wow. And away you go. You're a genius, man. Really, seriously, what you've done here is incredible, and the fact that you not only do this, but all the all the, the the power and all of that, and all the you know all the boxes and you know no stone unturned. But power is such a big part of it. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's the it's the core element to everything. If it's not getting the right power, it just won't sound right. I mean, it's for, like for example, there's a virtual battery. Yeah. So here. Yeah. This is a little virtual battery. Wow. Oh. Just there. Now that mimics. Ex exactly the current of a battery. For that fuzz yeah. to sound the way it does, yeah. it needs a battery. Yeah. It can't be run off anything else. So yeah. you put a virtual battery on that and it's operating yeah. and it sounds the way it should. Yeah. Generator's here, yeah. that links to the distributor and just distributes the power to where we need it with the um, adapters and things. And all fits under the pedal tray and it just looks, you know. So mate, when you, when you, so you you recognize this stuff and so you recognize i mean like the, the battery and stuff and, mm -hmm. and you've got this thing going so you, what do you, you go where do you go to get that done do you go like do you have to how do you how do you source that how do you do you, do you invent that do you make that do you, we what, make all that you we, make all that yeah yeah holy moly yeah that's all all the power stuff all the adapters are all giving stuff there's nothing on your board nothing is customized wow everything is off the shelf wow that we make here wow Wow. It's just the way that you hook it up. That I haven't customized anything. No. I've obviously put it together exactly the way that you wanted yeah. it. But you can do that with just things that we've invented. And you, the and you have that thing that you get, that brilliant thing that you have stuff off the shelf, but, but literally the permutations are endless. Endless. So Absolutely endless. I come to you, you know, I've done this, done the studio and I said, well, right, it's time to go out on tour and go like, and Adam and I come to you and say, how we do this? How? We're scratching our heads and you go, okay, you, you do it like this. And yeah. it's brilliant. <laughs> 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 I can't agree. <laughs> um, yeah, man, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> wow, thank you. My, absolutely, my pleasure. Absolutely, my thank pleasure. Thank you so much.